Today is 11th September 2024 and you are here to watch me speak about Chat RTX. Now Nvidia's Chat RTX is amazing. So what is Chat RTX? You have seen in my channel that they've used different LLMs to create different products, to create services, to create different rag systems and upload our files to ask questions to the files. Now Chat RTX is an app that lets you personalize the GPT experience here. Now it lets you personalize a GPT LLM connected to your own content. Now you can ask questions to your docs, to your notes, images and other data. And it's so easy to set up. It has RAG already implemented. So it has that capturing ability. It has memory inbuilt and it uses RTX acceleration to give you the faster output. Now you can chat with your files, you can talk with chat RTX and you can do photo and image search. Let's say you have different images in a folder and you want to sort out the images which has a ball in that picture. To locate what you can do is direct chat RTX to that folder and it will search the photos for you. We'll see with an example in the future. But today, let us go and install this. So we need to download this. So if you press download here and you can see that we have an 11 GB file which will be downloaded. I'm just going to cancel this because I've already installed and running this since I don't remember. But there are some system requirements that will be basically needed. We need a higher end computer to run this. So it works on platform of Windows. As of now, we have GPUs, NVIDIA RTX 30 or 40 series GPU or NVIDIA R RTX Ampere or ADA generation GPU with at least 8 GB of VRAM. Now my system is RTX 4060 with 8 GB GPU which should work and it works because I've been using this system for so long to do different research projects. For example, if we have this paper, I can just put in this 15 page paper and ask questions on this paper and get a glimpse of this paper in a short amount of time. So we need RAM of 16 GB or more. The operating system is 11, Windows 11, and the file size is 11 GB. Now, once we have downloaded that, once we have that zip file, we unzip that file and then we install the system. Once we have that installed, you can go to start and you can say NVIDIA. So we see this NVIDIA chat RTX here. So just click there and you can see this entire thing just spins up just like that. Now, please give some time for it to load up and it should load up my setup. Okay, so it has loaded up. We can see that it has different models. So Mistral 7B Int 4 is the model that we will be using because Mistral's Mistral, you know, 7B is my favorite model. Now you can go ahead and let's say I want to research uh, on this paper. So what I can do is I can download this paper on a different folder. For example, let's say uh, Rio. So I have this folder. I keep uh, this paper on this folder. And now what I can do is I can go ahead. Okay. So what I can do is I can point to the Rio folder here and just select the folder. And you can see that our embeddings are ready here. Once this embedding is ready, we are now ready to ask questions. So I can say, what is the document talking about? Let's see the answer. And you can see the speed of inference. It's pretty good. So the document is discussing a research called Sapiens High Resolution Vision Transformers for Image Generation, which presents a collection of large high resolution vision transformer models for image generation. The paper describes the method used to pre-train the model, including the use of large proprietary data set of human images and off-the-shelf person bounding box detector. 
The paper also discusses the limitation of existing vision transformers based image generation models and the gap in the number of parameters. So this is the paper. Now what I can do is I can ask more questions on that. For example, uh, let's say sapient models is fine tuned on four human tasks. Let's say what are they? I can ask another question. What are the tasks? Let's see if it is able to get the answers. So it's correctly able to identify the uh, answer as 2D post estimation, body part segmentation, a depth prediction and normal prediction. Now, this is pretty huge. So I think you can use this if you have the system, of course. Now I'll be back with more videos in the next video. I will walk you through this beautiful paper, Sapiens Foundation for Human Vision Language. But until then, stay subscribed and join my Patreon. And I will see you in the next one.